Hello, I'm Mark Hughes, and today's a special day for me. I'm back at Shriners Children's Clinic, and I'm an alumni here and a former patient, and also an Osmond Shriner in uh, St. Paul or Egan. But today is special with me because we have Jennifer, Su Jennifer Such, who's Director of Development here at, at the, at the uh, clinic. Jennifer, tell us what that is and what you do, and there's a special event uh, called the Gala coming up. Yes. So my role as the Director of Development is to raise critical funds needed to support our patient care and programs and services here. I've been with Shriners since 2015 and have had a wonderful experience engaging with donors, um, being able to provide much needed funds for um, the medical care that we provide to um, kids with orthopedic needs and just um, have been able to put together a signature fundraising event and um, we are excited to be able to host that again this year. A lot of things have changed in the Shrine uh, marketing plan here in this market. They're now doing commercials, which are very good because they're hitting the market there needs to be now. There's kids that are probably three, four years old and up and telling their stories. But I think Shriners doesn't get the news coverage that it always deserves um, because there are a lot of uh, celebrities that are affiliated with Shriners. Justin Timberlake was one. He put together the Las Vegas Golf Tournament and so on and so forth. Lady Gaga has visited our, our uh, other building here in the Twin Cities mm -hmm. and things like that. And so it does have a, a good draw and uh, other than, you know, the regular things, the circus and all that. And that leads me up to the gala that we're having on September 10th, 2021. You want to tell me about that because it's near and dear to my heart. I'm going to be there and, and a lot of other people, but tell us about that. Yeah, so the gala was launched in 2016 as a way to celebrate the work that we've done for nearly 100 years, as well as celebrate our patients and our staff and raise, as I've said, uh, much, much needed funds for continued programs and services that we provide. Who created this? Uh, it was actually my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up and take a bow. Yeah. It is very good, though. I've been. It's a, it's a really neat thing. Thank you. I've, I've been in development and fundraising for 25 years and with several organizations um, had organized a special event like this. And so when I came to Shriners, we didn't have a, a gala um, event. And so I thought it would be a great idea to bring together all the people that support us um, as well as patients and, and their families to be able to celebrate um, celebrate all that we've done for nearly 100 years. Right, and it is pretty close to 100 years now. Yes, we're celebrating. This year, 2021, is 98 years wow. uh, providing specialty orthopedic care. Wow, and we were the second Shriners in the, in the fold, I think. Yes, yeah, second or third. Was um, Shreveport. Sh Shreveport was first, first, and then I think Honolulu opened just, just like a month or so before the oh, Minneapolis location yeah. opened. So we've been we've been here in the Twin Cities since 1923. So as far as fundraising and sponsors and media, how do how do you get that for a special gala like this? Because it's a really big deal. Yeah. So we have um, really worked with our donors and friends and and um, those that are are close to us to invite um, as many people as would like to attend. Um, we've held the event at the depot for Minneapolis for the last five years. And that'll be again this year. Is that, is that where I'm going? At the depot Minneapolis, <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> off of Washington Avenue. Um, and it's, it's, it's a great space, um, very convenient for people to get to. And um, they do such a great job there of, of hosting us that we, we love to go back there. What, what is the hardest part of putting an event like this together? Um, <laughs> Other than it being rewarding when it's all done. It, it is very rewarding. You know, the hardest part is making sure that people get their guest names in. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like everything else. We have that problem in Osmond, too. If you yep. have a deadline, they'll call you on the last Yep. Day. So, so if you, you know, if you buy a table, if you sponsor a table, just, you know, gathering those guest names so that we can, you know, make sure that we have all of our, our ducks in a row, get our name tags made prior to the event. That, that's honestly the, <laughs> the 
hardest how, part. How has, uh, how has COVID affected this? Well, we, uh, we originally scheduled um, our event last year, right? At, we, we had booked our date um, at the end of 2019. Yep. And um, we, had, was in. Yeah, we had just started, just started some initial planning in early 2020 um, prior to everything being um, really just kind of um, put on hold. And so we had had a date of June last year um, and when the, the um, mandates came and the, the um, shutdowns were, were implemented, we had to push our date out. Right. That continued through the end of the year. And so we weren't able to have the event at all in Last 2020. Uh, but fortunately, being able to have a fall date this year, despite um, some of the ongoing um, COVID activity, uh, there are a lot of great mitigation strategies that are in place. To be well, if you if you start being vaccinated, uh, that's key. There's another vaccination probably coming up, but as long as you got yours in, I think right it works pretty good. Yes. Uh, there are families that you follow to tell their stories on the special night, and it is a special night. How do you how do you pick families without hurting some feelings? Because there's a lot of great families are involved here. We have so many great patients and so many fan fantastic stories about kids that have, you know, just really benefited from the care that they've received at Shriners. And so, um, you know, we, we put out a call each year to a few families and ask if they'd like to be involved. We do, um, we put together a video prior to that we, we show at the event. And so we're able to um, really, really talk to those families and, and bring them um, bring their bring those kids' stories um, no, to allow, be able to highlight them. No, not everybody's from the Twin Cities, so you actually have travel here, like the night of the event. Yes, they? yep. Um, one of the one of the patients that will be uh, featured in our video this year is actually from Nebraska, and has done a lot of uh, speaking for us as a patient ambassador at the Nebraska Shrine Bowl. Right. Um, so we we try to bring patients from from all over our service region. You know, we have a, a, a very large catchment area uh, for Shriners Children's Twin Cities. We provide service to patients in both North Dakota, South Dakota, yes, we are. Nebraska, <laughs> Iowa. That hasn't changed. <laughs> nope. Wisconsin, yeah. um, the, the Upper Peninsula, states, yeah. yeah, of Michigan. and. Of well, Michigan. let me give you a fast fact about disability viewpoints, as I may. When we went first on the air, October 1st, 1998, yes, it's that old. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had Monty Meyer, who was a former Shrine patient. He skied in the Nagano Japan Olympics and won the gold. Oh, wow. And we actually showed off the gold on the show. Oh, fantastic. That was a thrill. Yeah. And, uh, and so that's that story. But, you know, Shriners has an effect in all corners of the world. Yeah. And, uh, I, th I think there are a dozen patients or a dozen or so patients right now, former patients, that are participating in the Tokyo Paralympic yeah. Games. Yeah. Um, one of our uh, more recent former patients, Natalie Sims, is participating in some of the swimming events coming up, I think. Yeah, they, uh, didn't they have her on the sports too? Yes, locally, yeah. yep. Uh, either yesterday or today was one of her first heats. Great, good for her. Well, he, Monty, I can tell you the story. He had worked for the Home Depot here. He lived in Apple Valley then. Uh -huh. And uh, he transferred out to the Home Depot as I remember in Colorado, because he was skiing. Mm. And the Home Depot cut him a deal. We'll give you the job and all the benefits, and we'll give you your practice time off, too, for the Olympics. But we want to, you know, and then they put the pressure on But If we're going to do that, we want to see you win. And boy, <laughs> right. he did. He came oh, back with three gold medals. That's so. great. But he's a product of Shriners Hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, without this, uh, there's some outstanding things that can be done yeah. because of this. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, so, what? How many months in advance do you start planning for the dinner? When one is over, you start again. Y yeah, you know, we start planning uh, the event for the, for the next year's event um, shortly after wrapping up the the previous year's event. We'll probably look at setting a date for 2022. Um, you know, within the next few weeks following uh, the September event. Yeah, and then sense. and then we really start our planning probably four, four and a half months out, um, getting our, our invitations in the mail, um, just working through the program, um, inviting uh, featured 
guests and and um, keynote speakers that kind right. of what what work uh, as far as as trying to get uh, sponsors and all that that's an ongoing thing too. It, it is an ongoing process yes we we work very closely with our donors and our sponsors to be able to provide um, you know a, a sponsorship a table to this event um, and have have really gained a lot of uh, great sponsors over the years as we've continued yes, to have. grow yeah, yeah we're, we're uh, I think when all is said and done, we will have raised over a million dollars with this event in, in just See, you know, it's your idea. in a few years. Yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> what there's, you know, there's everything to gain, but there's always disappointments and everything. What has been your biggest disappointment? Did you set a higher goal one time and missed it, or did somebody you wanted? All of a sudden, cancel out. I mean, any disappointments with this? Uh, you know, I, I really can't think of anything that's been been really disappointing. We have we've continued to grow year after year, um, and be able to to bring more patients, staff, and and donors and friends to the event. It's it's really been great that that it has grown as as much as it has um, in the in the last few years. Um, you know, we've we've had great response from. Um, our partners, a lot of people that I talk to will tell me that, you know, a, a grandfather or an uncle was a Shriner and so they've been familiar with the organization for many years and, um, you know, it's, it's great to be able to tell people um, about the patients that we have been able to provide care for, for for so many years and be able to continue that um, foundation of success. So let, let's say let's say it's 2021 now. Let's go out five years, 20, 2026. 2026. My math, my math right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's say there's a goal that you're going to set. I'd like, and I'm probably still going to be working here. Thank you for that. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd like this dinner to grow by X percent or dollars in five years. Is that fair to say that you can set a goal? Oh, absolutely. You know, we're, we're looking at, each year how we can increase the number of people that are able to attend and the, n the number of people that we reach as well as the amount of money that we're able to raise. So, you know, we'd like to be able to, I, I would, I would love to be able to raise a million dollars with, with just yeah, one night, absolutely, you know, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but to set your goals realistically. Yes, absolutely. You know, if you grow it by another 80 to a hundred thousand, that's, Pretty realistic. Yes, I absolutely. That can be done. Yeah. Um, and our final word segment is anything you can say that I may have forgotten, or you know, anything you'd like to say. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to say that thank you for for having me on your sure. show. I appreciate it and being able to share uh, sure. with your viewers about uh, Shriners Children's and Twin Cities. We have a few, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I think we have a few. Videos, yeah, so yeah. We'll we'll do that. And we'll probably get it on the website too. And then I'll see if I can, uh, after we're done, get a produced copy. So you have one for the file here. Fantastic. I also wanted to say that we are going to be live streaming our program. So those that aren't able to attend in person oh. or are uncomfortable attending, we so will- So I better be quiet. It's a family <laughs> show that night. We, we will uh, share a link on our uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, channels as well as Twitter so that people can log on to our YouTube channel. And they can, are they gonna, are there be question and answer and then ask questions from there too? Uh, I don't think so, but. <laughs> yeah. well, I well, seem to stay, I seem to stay pretty late that night because I have kind of a good time. So yeah. I'll try to be quiet. Yeah, so we'll be able to share the program with with your viewers um, yeah. and, and others that, that maybe can't so attend any, that night. Any way we can help, uh, I'm sure we'll. We'll do that. Thank you very Great. much for Thanks, being on Mark. the show. Yeah. And we'll be back with more Disability Viewpoints in just a moment.